If you are running, should you run with your forefoot, midfoot or rear foot or does that even matter in the first place? Today we are deep diving into the science about foot positioning. So if you want to know how to place one foot in front of the other after you place a like on this video, then you have found the perfect video. Hey, what's up my fellow runners? If we are running, we often think about the essentials. The right shoes, the sock that match those shoes, the perfect playlist, and of course, not to forget that post meal snack. But what if I told you there has been a crucial aspect of your run that you have been forgetting? And yes, you guessed it, it is your foot placement. If you want to reduce your risk of injury and improve your speed, then you will often hear that placing your foot the correct way is very important. But is this even the case? In this video, we're gonna find out a lot more. So let's go. So what is that foot strike? Well, your foot strike is how your feet make contact with the ground, rolls through and pushes off to start the new gait cycle. There are three main types of foot strike, rear foot, mid foot, and forefoot. Forefoot is when the ball of your foot hits the ground first. Heel strike or rear foot landing is when you touch the ground for the first time when coming down with your heel. And midfoot strike is the middle part of your foot that first makes contact when hitting the ground. Well, how do these different strikes affect your running? A midfoot landing was long thought to be the optimal way to place your foot. This is because of a biomechanical advantage you get when placing your midfoot first. It minimizes braking forces and it reduces impact upon landing. Allowing that Achilles tendon to use that stored up kinetic energy to blast you forward into your next gait cycle. So in the past this was preached as the go-to running strike. While some claim that a certain foot strike is better for reducing injuries and improving performance, science does not confirm this statement. Each runner has a different build and gait, strength and weaknesses and there isn't one foot strike that will be beneficial to all runners. Can different styles of foot striking reduce the risk of injury? Changing your foot strike has a huge impact on the load your body has to manage. Like we said previously, there isn't one foot strike better than the other in reducing impact or improving performance. And when we look at a study done by Peter Larson et al, where they looked at the foot strike of participants of a marathon, they looked at how they strike their foot at the 10k mark. And there it shows that 99.8% were rear foot runners, 3.4% midfoot strikers, and 1.8% were forefoot strikers. And then there were 5.9% that didn't exhibit a definitive foot strike pattern. They looked at those same runners again at the 32K mark and they saw that a lot of runners went from midfoot and forefoot to rear foot, which was, which was already the biggest group percentage wise. So this shows that your foot strike can even alter when you are running. Among marathon runners, they also found no significant difference between a foot strike and your end time. Does your footwear impact how you place your foot. Running shoes, they do influence your foot strike a little bit. Minimalist shoes will encourage more the midfoot or forefoot landing, while cushioned shoes will encourage a heel strike slightly more. Big changes in shoe style that alter your technique should be made very carefully because this can lead to injury. If you are thinking about switching to a more minimalist shoes, watch this video I've made about minimalist shoes before you consider it. Can and should you practice different foot strikes? Well, as we mentioned before, foot strikes can alter during your run as you get more fatigued. Running drills like high knee walks, high knee runs and straight legs are good starting points to improve your technique and also your endurance that comes with it. This helps you maintain the same foot strike for longer and helps overall fatigue. Try to incorporate these exercises into your casual runs. It will help you. So in conclusion, understanding different foot strikes and 
practicing different foot strikes can help you become a general more established runner and reduce the risk of injury just be careful modifying your technique too much because this can also lead you down the path of injuries and we don't want none of that i hope that you have found some valuable information from this video don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff i'll see you guys in the next one bye